kapit at laban lang tayo. Pinanghinaan man tayo, pero normal lang naman yun. Hey guys! Great morning! Nagbabalik na naman ang Galing TV. Now on our third episode of Online Schooling 101, I am Mother Russell. And for today, marinig natin first hand ang iba't ibang experiences at insights ng ating mga ate at kuya tungkol sa online classes. Nakapanibago pa nga rin naman kasi talaga, di ba? From physical, tapos ngayon through computer or laptop screens na lang. Kaya naman, para sa mga sasabak pa lang or sa mga nag a pa rin sa online classes o sa mga gusto lang makinig sa experiences ng kanilang mga co-students, just keep on watching. Ang unang tinanong ko sa ating mga ate at kuya ay kung ano nga ba ang masasabi nila sa ating mode of learning ngayon. Siyempre, may iba pa tayong perception at opinion sa setup natin ngayon. Pahinga natin sila! What can you say about this year's mode of learning? Is it easy or not? It is not easy because we need a stable and strong internet connection. We also need to have a good set of PC or laptop. It is also very complicated for the teachers to teach through screen. And for us students, it is difficult for us to get modules and pass assignments and sequers through online. In my own opinion, I think that this year's mode of learning is very hard for the most of us, the students and the teachers. Because in order for us to survive this school year, we must have a strict policy of self-discipline wherein we need to make use of our time properly and also a lot of patience when it comes to online classes. It's really tough for me because there are times where I usually wake up late because I don't need to rush things to prepare on going to school. It may seem to be our advantage, but there are certain studies that shows upon waking up late, we may feel unproductive the whole day. So, yeah. And I personally still not used with this kind of setup because I really, really love to get along with my friends. At the end of our classes, making Gwen or Chica about how our day went. So now that it is being taken away, not just for me but also to everyone, it is really hard now that I also realize that one of my main sources of communicating with people is through physically attending to school. So yeah, but nonetheless, I appreciate each and every students and teachers that are exerting their time and effort for us to learn in this trying time. It is definitely not easy for all of us. Siyempre, nasanay na tayong magkakasama at malayang nakakapag-aral sa paralan. At kagaya nga ng sabi nila, hindi lang tayo, kundi pati na rin para sa ating mga guro at mga magulang ay hindi madali ang ating setup ngayon. Ngunit kahit na ganon, ang mahalaga ay patuloy tayong nagtutulungan at ginagawa ang lahat ng ating mga kaya para mag-adjust sa new normal. And now, moving on to our next question. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng online schooling sa face-to-face -face classes? Siyempre, bukod sa hindi tayo magkakasama sa isang lugar, o baka naman meron pa rin similarities. Alamin natin! How do you think this academic year's mode of learning differs from the previous one? difference ng virtual learning and physical learning ay pag physical learning mas hands-on sa inyong profs nyo hindi tulad pag virtual na hindi nila kayo masyado nagagabayan. Another thing is mas active yung participation ng students sa physical classes unlike sa virtual learning. And another thing is yung ibang prof naman kasi hindi nag-require mag-on ng camera so parang yung mga students na gagawa nila yung gusto nilang gawin tulad ng pag-phone which is a distraction during classes. Um, yung gusto ko sa online classes or virtual learning ay parang mas hawak mo yung oras mo kasi di ba pag physical classes, mas gigising ka ng maaga so maliligo ka pa, so nagtitake siya ng time mo. Like sa virtual classes, hindi mo kailangan maligo. I mean, maliligo ka, pero pwede kang maligo during breaks mo and wala ka ng time sa pagbiyahe. The main difference between this school year and last school year is of course, this year, we have online learning. There are a lot of changes and adjustments that need to be made in this mode of learning, but I think 
that the thing that we need to adjust to the most is that the thing that we need to adjust to the most is the setting because of course here at home um, we are used to studying here at home we aren't used to studying in a confined space like this and like we when we were going to school um, we were in a classroom we were able to interact with people um, we were able to talk you know but like um, in this setting we are just in a confined space and when when you're in your G, G meet meeting you know um, you're just in a cube and you see your classmates like that but I do understand that things need to be like this because as you know we're in a pandemic and we can't really change anything so um, we make do of what we have. O diba, kahit from different grade levels, pansin-pansin talaga ang pagkakaiba ng ating mode of learning ngayon sa transportation, participation, control of time, at marami pang iba. Pero kung ibabasin natin ito sa mga sinabi nila, malaki talaga ang pagkakaiba ng physical sa online classes. Ngunit, meron pa rin naman itong mga advantages, which leads us to our next question. Siyempre, kahit naman ganito ang setup natin, meron pa rin itong underlying benefits. For sure, yung iba sa atin, hindi lang to na-realize. Pero don't worry, andito ang ating mga ate at kuya para mas ipaintindi sa atin ano nga ba ang positive side of learning online. What do you think are the benefits of online and modular learning? Tutunan mo kung paano mag-adapt na at mag-manage ng oras tulad ng paggawa ng mga gawain bahay at mga gawain sa eskwela. Matutunan mo rin maging responsable sa kapa at sa sarili. Um, hindi ka na mag sa fix ng schedule kasi pwede ikaw na mismo ang gumawa ng sarili mong schedule. Plus, pwede mar- mas maraming oras ang iwawaldas kasama ang pamilya which is great band na. At alam ko po na mahirap po ang online learning ngunit ito ay may beneficyo sa atin. Tulad ng mamamaximize natin ang ating time sa pamilya natin at ligtas tayo sa virus at hindi na natin kailangan bumiyahe papunta sa ating mga paralan. Mas mapapadali din ang ating pag-aaral ngayon dahil mayroon tayong internet na pwede natin mapagtanungan at upang magets natin ang lalo ang ating mga lesson. At makakatiyak din ang ating mga magulang na tayo ligtas. Na-mention parehas ng ating ate at kuya na isa sa mga benefits ng online learning ay ang pagkakaroon natin ng time sa ating pamilya. Mas hawak natin ang ating oras o schedule. Ang pinakamalaking advantage nito ay safe tayo sa loob ng ating mga bahay. Dahil yun naman ang pinaka-importante, hindi ba? Kaya naman, the last but not the least, syempre, iba pa rin na tayo ang nag assure sa isa't isa at tayo rin ang nagtutunungan. Bago tuloy ang matapos ang episode natin ngayon, pakinggan muna natin ang last reminders and messages mula sa ating ate at kuya. What can you say to your co-students at this time of pandemic? I can say to all my fellow students that we're all struggling in this adaptation, this new platform that we're not used to. There are many hindrances that, that will affect the learning of the students in this pandemic. Lastly, my message for you guys is don't let this new platform stop you from learning. Remember, we will be able to survive this mode of learning. Okay. I just want to say a few things. Stay strong. Siguro masasabi ko lang sa mga co-students ko is kapit at laban lang tayo. Pinanghihinaan man tayo, pero normal lang naman yun. Manghihina, 
pero inum ng kape at magpapahinga. Pero laban pa rin. Patunayan natin lalo na lang sa sarili natin na magaling tayo at gagalingan pa natin. Tandaan natin kung para saan ba yung pagod at galing na ipinapamalas natin. Pangawakan lang natin yun. May marating din yung pagod at galing natin. At stay safe. Amen. Sobrang nakaka-inspire na marinig mula sa ating mga ate at kuya na malalagpasan din natin itong lahat. Lilipas ang paghihirap at kung kinaya nila, sigurado kong kaya rin nating lahat. Kagaya nga ng sabi nila, magpahinga lang kapag kinakailangan at saka ulit lumaban sa panibagong araw. At dito na nga nagtatapos ang episode natin ngayon with our fellow students. I'm sure na kagaya ko ay marami rin kayo natutunan from them. Nagkaroon tayo ng wider perspective on what it's also like for other people na matuto at mag-engage ngayon sa kanilang online classes. Nakita naman natin na iba-iba talaga ang mga karunasan, pati na rin ang opinion ng iba't iba nating estudyante. Kaya naman sobrang swerte natin at ma-share nila to sa atin. Hindi man tayo pare-pareho ng pinagdadaanan, what matter is we are always willing to lend our helping hands and be each other's guardian angel. Kaya naman, gaya nga ng lagi namin sinasabi, don't forget to wash your hands, wear your mask, stay at home as much as possible, and always stay safe. Again, this is Anna Russell, and I'll see you again on our next episode. Bye-bye!